All right, guys, we are back again. New video, check it out. Check out my jacket, huh? This is a fishing video, and I'm in a suit. That's right, well, kind of a suit. I have my, have my jeans on, check out my jeans. Yeah, you're supposed to go down. Yeah, there we go, all right, now you're up. All right, so here's what we're doing, guys. We're at the Force Food Cup. Look here behind me, we got everybody all dressed up fancy-like. Everybody's put their best outfits on. Force Food Cup World Championship of Bass Fishing, $300,000 to the champion. This video you're watching right now is going to give you a vlog style format of the entire tournament. Hopefully at the end of this tournament, I'll be holding up a big old check and a big old silver trophy. So uh, let's go inside and check it out. All right, so we're gonna go inside. We're gonna have a nice little dinner. There's gonna be a few little awards given away. There's gonna be an Angler of the Year speech, which is gonna be pretty sweet. I didn't win Angler of the Year, so I'm not gonna be speaking. I'm just gonna be eating. Yes, that's right. And guess what? Brandon's been on a diet. Yes, Spinner Worm has been working out. Check it out. Bam, he's lost a lot of weight. This man is an imposter. Go down okay. The okay. Yep. He's all skinny, and he even looks different. I don't even understand how this is working. <laughs> because you know why? Because it's not B. This is my boy Shane. That's right. Shane has been on a few SMCs. He's going to be hanging out because I had to give Brandon a week off. He's got a buddy that's getting married. He's had it on the schedule. It just so happens it fell on top of the Forestwood Cup. So Brandon is enjoying life right now. Shane's going to take over. It's going to be good stuff. Stay tuned. This, this is the dinner. We need to have dinners like this at every FLW tour day. Can we, can, this is Dave Washburn, and he's one of the higher ups at FLW. We need to have dinner like this at every FLW Wouldn't that be awesome? On the tour day. Uh, I think sure. so. I think, I we'll, think we'll work on that. that. Okay, you heard it here. Pretty nice. Well, John Cox, let's see if we can find. Oh, they forgot my name. There it is, right there. All right, hopefully we can pull off a second. Wouldn't that be sweet? Absolutely. All right, time for grub. You're looking sharp, man. Hey, you looking too, sharp, man. You got the nice jacket on. Yes, that's what we're, this, this is what this dinner's about. Yes, what do you got there? I got a get out of parking garage free car. Nice. All right, let's Great. go sit down with some grub. I'm going to stand up because I don't like being small to sit. <laughs> so rise up. No, really, <laughs> So, we in Columbia, we just gotta say, FLW week, make the clouds go away. <laughs> now, wait a minute, y'all are fishing guys. Okay, we in Columbia just gotta say, the fishermen want the clouds to stay. <laughs> Bam! All right, this party is officially over with. Uh, good dinner, good speeches by um, Brian Thrift, a couple of little things. Enjoyed eating dinner with uh, my boy John Cox. Hey, here's what we're gonna do. Watch this. Day one of the tournament starts now. All right, we're back. Day so one of FLW oh, tour so event so starts now. Force with Cup, baby. Three hundred thousand dollars. Right. Check out the crowd behind us. This is what it's all about. This is what we're fishing for all year long. I got a chance to hey man, uh, pull something off pretty special. It's gonna take three days of hard work. So stay tuned. We're gonna be taking off here in just a minute, heading down to our first spot, and uh, hopefully we're gonna jack up a big bag. Taking the cameras along, you guys are gonna be part of it. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Let's get this party started. All right, so Brandon, Brandon's becoming a pretty popular item on the channel. He's Spinner Worm. He's got his own team. Top 35. Oh, check it out. We got the best of the best for the 2016. You gotta love it, Brandon. You gotta love it, my friend. The 2016. Or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming. All right, boys, let's get this party started. Day one starts now. They busting? I, I got those boats. You need to tell that boat behind you to pull out. That one that's closest in. There's all. They were sitting on the spot. One just busted right here. Yeah. 
Oh God, one hit it, dude. Dang it. One had it. Got him. Oh, it's a striper. Yeah, that one is. Ugh. I need a towel. Oh my gosh, ow. These there's big bass mixed in with these stripers. All right, that's Matt Airy. Me and Matt kind of found the same little deal here. And uh, so we're both starting here. There's two or three schools of fish along this little edge right here. But there's big bass mixed in with them. Just got to um, connect with one of them. They're mixed in with those stripers. Oh. Come on, baby. Uh, I feel like it's a striper. Come on, large, large mouth. Come on, dude. Things are like groupers, man. Uh, number one. Number one, not a real big one. They're busting in front of the boat. Oh man, they're busting back there. Stay off that! Yeah, they're busting behind you. You're fine, just go out that way, you're good. I mean, it's a public lake. I get, I get that people want to go fishing today. And he has every right. It's an awesome lake. Good day to be fishing. But there's a million places to fish on this lake. <laughs> day one of the Forestwood Cup and you're like all over the stuff. I don't know. Whatever. I'm gonna go check this little wad over here. Oh man, they're right here. I saw them on the panoptics. That's why I reeled in real fast and, and cast. I literally, they're 40 feet, which is too close. You need a little bit of room to, to get them to chase your bait for a second. I'm gonna back off. You know, when you're fishing school and fish, the, the biggest thing is boat position. Because the, the reason they're here is they're feeding on bait. And if you're blocking the bait or you're sitting here preventing the fish to come up and feed because you're pushing the bait off or you're spooking the fish so they're not staying in kind of feed formation, that's a bad thing. So you wanna, wanna pay attention to that. You know, move around a little bit, let the bait come back in. And a lot of times it'll fire them right back up. But if you sit right on top of where they're feeding too long, that can be a bad thing. You don't get a lot of bites out here, but the quality's been good. Matter of fact, that's the smallest fish that I've caught offshore so far in the entire practice. So if you can make it happen out here, the potential's here. The problem is there's a, oh, there's one. Oh gosh, that's a big one. I think it's a big striper. If it's not a big striper, it's about a six pound largemouth. Yeah, big striper. <laughs> oh, here they come, here they come, here they come. Come on, get it, get it. God, they shot up, dude. Golly. They were on the bottom, they were like in 14 foot of water, and they shot up like rockets. Nice large mouth. Oh man, good large mouth. Oh my gosh, it's a giant dude. Yeah! Oh. Woo! Hooks fell out, baby. 
There's a bunch of them in there like that. Hey. It's a big one, dude. If it's a bass, it might be a striper. Large mouth. Big one. Four pounder. Yeah! Woo! Four and a half, five. That's for you, darling. That's for you, baby. Uh, bam! Good one. I got like 14 and a half. They're biting, dude. I got two over four, and then a couple two and a halves and a two. Over here? Yeah, I just left there. They came up busting for a minute, and I didn't hook him. I didn't catch him. I think there's fish there. There he is. I could see him on the graph. I don't think he helps me, but he might. I don't think so. Basically, two five, uh, two seven, right? Yeah, two seven's my two point zero seven. Nope. That's a wrap. All right, well, I'm not sure all the stuff you're gonna see, because I didn't save a lot of clips on the ones I missed. But let me just say this, with all honesty, I had the opportunity to have over a 20 pound bag today. I came up short, 14 pounds or so. Uh, 14 and a half, I hope. But the good thing is, is that there's big fish on several of my places, and I had probably 15 bites. If I can just, I just need five of those good ones tomorrow. I just had bad luck. The last three hours of the day was just horrific for me. I, I would hook them, they'd pull off, they would chase it up to the boat. They, it was just all kind of little things happened. So uh, it's a blessing that I know where some big ones live. Uh, it was just a little unfortunate I lost a lot of them today, but we're gonna take it to the Coliseum, downtown Columbia, and uh, weigh these puppies in. You can't win it on the first day, you can't win it on the second day, that's a fact. Only one on the third day. bag holder it all started years ago at the grocery store you know you like get groceries for the old ladies and you like carry them out well there was this guy that you know the manager of the store he said uh, son could I talk to you for a minute and I said yes sir and he said so I, I, son I, I see the way you carry those bags and uh, I think there's some potential there and, uh, and so, right, you don't want to hear this. It's a long story. I'll just stop it right there. I mean, that's enough, right? All right, so the general, Larry Nixon, just weighed in like 18 pounds. Brandon Cobb is behind me. He has like a lot. Big bag. Anthony Gagliard has got a big bag. Brian Thrift had 19. This lake's showing out. I don't have anywhere near that weight, but we've got two more days to try to put something together. Let's go weigh these dudes in. It's time for dinner. They should this year at the Forest Wood Cup. He's a former Forest Wood Cup champion. We welcome the Forest Wood Cup champion, Scott Martin. Let's get this stage, man. Get this stage. He is the 2015 Angler of the Year. 2011 Forest Wood Cup.
Cup champion. He's a vast mission millionaire. He's got a whole lot of wins in his career. He's looking to make history this week, become the first two-time Forestwood Cup champion. Scott Martin of Clewiston, Florida. A five-ass limit on day one of the Forestwood Cup. Worth 15 pounds, 14 ounces, and she went sixth place. All right, so here we are. This guy right here, man, this South guy Carolina might be the man to beat right here. I bet he's got 20. 19, 20. 19 pounds, 12 ounces. 20 pounds. So you got Anthony Gagliardi, you got him. I'm going to catch him tomorrow. I'm going to catch him tomorrow. Because if these guys are catching him, I know it'll be done. At almost 16 pounds today, we survived. Time for dinner. What's up? Day two, FLW, Forcewood Cup, 300 grand on the line, a big old silver trophy. Got my man Patterson Lee. Dude, we got a chance here, man. I survived yesterday. I don't have a chance. No, no, you definitely don't have a chance to win the tournament. What's up, dude? Hey, can we get a picture with you, man? Man, look at my man. Look at my man right there. He's ready. Look at that. I like it. I like it. Good to see you guys. All right, great. All right, guys, we are ready to get this thing going. Day two starts now. Beautiful morning. We gotta pray hard, we gotta fish hard, we gotta stay focused. Let's get this thing going. The littlest one in the school gets it. Unbelievable. Those were giants. Those might be stripers. I mean, those were huge. I don't even. Oh, it's a giant bass. You're kidding. How big? Gi giant one. Six pounder. lives there. Biggin, dude. It's a biggin. Yep. It's another good one right there. Yeah, baby. Boat 12 is in. Thanks, Scott. Thank you. Boy, what a battle. I tell you, I, I, uh, I caught OK bag. 
maybe about what I had yesterday, maybe a little less. I don't know. Uh, another one expired. I, I don't know what to tell you. That one was gut hooked, though. It was it, the hook was stuck in its throat in a way that we tried everything to keep it alive, it just didn't work. So I'm gonna get a little bit of a penalty there, four ounces. Got one yesterday. That's a half a pound, which really is not good. I don't know. I'm, I'm sure some guys caught them. I'm sure some guys didn't. I'm still around them, but you know what's crazy for me is I got to figure out how to catch them in the afternoons. Now today I think boat traffic had a lot to do with it, but at the end of the day I got to be able to produce some fish in the afternoons, especially if there's boat traffic tomorrow, which is Sunday, there probably will be. So, uh, hope you enjoyed the tournament thus far. Hopefully I'll make the cut. What up, man? How y'all yeah. doing, man? Team Martin, baby. That's right. Yeah. Representing what the yeah. team here, man. Woo! Nice. Got the hats. Got the hats. Got the hats. Oh, nice. <laughs> I think they turned out pretty good. Yeah, I like, yeah, I like, I like it, dude. Yeah. I saw Brandon wearing this, and I was like, I got to get one of those. And then I <laughs> buy the hat, get a shirt. I was like, no, no doubt. No doubt. Nice. Can we get a picture, though? Yeah, yeah. All right. Got five. Let's figure out how to catch five like this. You can make it interesting tomorrow, at least. All right. Well, you know, here's the deal, guys. We fished as hard as we could. I just didn't get any bites this afternoon, but I'll make some adjustments tomorrow if I'm fortunate enough to make it. Here we are at the cup. We're out in the audience meeting people, and uh, that's kind of what we do. And we've come across Whit and Taylor. Taylor. And uh, so, a couple of questions for you. Who do you think is going to win? Honestly, I got three guys, and that's Brandon Cobb, Gagliardi, or Scott Martin. I've seen them on live, and all three of them I know are on good spots. Well, what do you think? Do you have a pick? Team Martin all the way. That's So, Brandon Cobb caught like another 20 pound bag, basically. So, he basically just caught two 20 pound bags. He almost hit, he was 39 pounds. Justin Atkinson's going to have 30. Six or something. I don't know. I think I'm gonna make the cut with maybe 32, 31, something like that. So we've got a big hill to climb. I really needed to catch a good bag or a better bag than I got today, and even a better bag tomorrow to have a shot at this thing. So it's gonna take some miraculous things, but we're up for the challenge. Will you welcome Evan Ruth? did it. I think I'm in fifth, sixth. I don't know. But all I know is I got a big hill to climb. But now, you know what time it is? We just finished the way in here inside the Coliseum. So now we're going to jump back behind, do a little meeting with Bill Taylor, the rest of the top 10, and uh, get our instructions for tomorrow. But we've made it, guys. How about that? How about that? Huh. Hey, you know what time it is now? It's shout out time. Startron shout out time. These guys have been a big part of uh, my fishing, but let me tell you what they're also a big part of, keeping me running strong. This stuff's awesome. If you guys have any ethanol issues, because sometimes, look, this stuff has 10% ethanol. There's times that we can't find ethanol-free gas. That's what I use right there. This stuff's awesome. So thank you, Startron, for making good stuff. All right, guys, day four. This is what it's all about. Forestwood Cup, final day. I got a chance to win this thing. I'm sitting in like sixth place, a little behind, seven pounds. I mean, come on, I could make that up. Maybe if I catch 22, 23 pounds. And Brandon Cobb and a few of those guys have a little bit of an off day. But uh, I'm excited. What I'm more excited about, my beautiful wife is here. You have a top 10 at the. That's my good luck charm right there. You boys better watch out. I've got Miss Suzanne with me today. She's going to be on the water watching, cheering me on. It's going to be good stuff. All right, let's go up here, do interviews, hang out with some people, get on the water, 
Let's see what's up. Get this party started, guys. Well, we have the FLW official cameraman today in the back of my boat. He's going to be hanging out and doing a little filming. Brantley, my good luck charm. That's right. That's right. All right. We're ready. Let's get this party started. Let's do it. giant fish here it's uh it's one of those special schools where there's a lot of five pounders in the school it's the best and when i found it in practice i found the cane top and i threw out and caught one about four and a half and there was like 15 with it the problem is they don't come up all the time and i can't seem to catch them when they're not physically busting and so about every 15, 20 minutes, they'll come up and chase a shad around. If I can get five of these in the boat, I can catch a big, big bag to win this thing. I'm gonna say a little prayer. Lord, we love you. And I would just pray that you would uh, allow me to make great decisions. Father, allow me to make great decisions right now, Lord Father, on where I go, right cast, right little cadence, Lord Father, and get five nice fish in the boat, Lord Father. And in Jesus' name we pray, amen. Unbelievable. Right here at the boat, dude. One another one hit me. I don't know what it was. I didn't see it. I was looking over my shoulder. Gah. Goodness gracious, that took a long time. It's a big one, dude. That's a real big one. It's a real big fish if it's a bass. Yeah. No, it's not a real big one, but it's a good one. I don't know why he was pulling so hard. I think he was pulling like a donkey. Still a two and a half though, it's good. Another big failing fish. I just don't know if it's a bass or a striper. No, big bass. Yes. I made a little adjustment, guys. I put extra weight on this fluke. I put a little weight on there and getting it down, and it's working. Two casts in a row, two fish. Boom, we're going somewhere now. Adjustments, my friend. Adjustments. Last cast, guys. I worked hard, man. I don't know. I mean, I had a lot of bites today. You know, I needed to have an unbelievable execution day. And I had the complete opposite. But you know what? I worked hard. I prayed hard. It's all you can do. Well, fellas, this is a wrap as far as the fishing goes. Video's not over. We got the way in to go to, but uh, hopefully you enjoyed it. I, I don't know, man. I just left, I left it all on the table. I did what I could. So appreciate all the support thus far and uh, looking forward to uh, next year. So 
Let's head to the way in. Let's see what place I'm gonna end up. He's not dead, he's just full of air. If I would have had number five, it'd be a decent little bag. But I didn't get number five. Oh my god. That one. There you go. She, he's pretty. We found some big fish offshore, and I knew that these guys were going to wreck them. And one of the spots that's in the practice video or area and spot is where he wrecked like a mega bag. He found that spot as well, and it's his mama hole because that's where him and his mom fished the last day of practice, I think. And he's got like over 20 with like a small one still. So it was a tournament winning hole for sure. Oh, yeah. I stayed on it first. All through that slick, calm, yeah. I threw drop shots out there. Everything you can do. Wow. Welcome to Rokar, Evan Lou, Ranger Pro, Scott Martin.
Sushi again? We can do sushi. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> I've never I don't care. I'm a kid. Whatever y'all want to eat. Well, we don't want to eat that. Come here. You didn't win oh, a God. tournament. Dang. All right, guys, that's a wrap. Congratulations, Justin, for winning that thing. I worked hard. Came up a little short, but we had a good week. Hope you enjoyed watching. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for dropping comments. And guess what, guys? I'll read every single comment, so drop one. Suzanne, my beautiful wife showed Ready? up, surprised me, and she's going to sign us out, baby. Yeah, yeah. Bam. <laughs>